Star 104.5 and Black Diamond AFL would like to thank the following sponsors for making it possible to hit the field week in and week out. Wilson Security. Wilson Security is Australia's largest and most innovative security provider. Prime 7. In 2014, Prime 7 has more footy on more nights, live and free. Newcastle Herald. The Newcastle Herald plays an integral part in the Hunter community. Star 104.5. Star 104.5 plays the music we all love and proudly supports Black Diamond AFL. BLK. BLK, the official apparel supplier to the Richmond Tigers, Western Bulldogs, GWS Giants, Adelaide Crows, Gold Coast Suns and Brisbane Lions. Belmont 16 Footers Sailing Club. Located on the picturesque Lake Macquarie, Belmont 16s is one of the premier venues in the Hunter region, offering the very best in dining, promotions and entertainment. GE Industrial Solutions, partnering with the mining community in the Hunter for the last 50 years, delivering safe and reliable electrical equipment and engineering services to our customers. Sports Coast Trophy and Embroidery. Sports Coast Trophy are the leading supplier of trophies and embroidery on the Central Coast. Waratah Sports. Waratah Sports has been specialising in sporting equipment, sporting apparel and trophies and medals on the Central Coast for over 20 years. Subway Morisset. Subway Morisset is open seven days a week, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Don't miss the Wilson Security Black Diamond AFL this weekend. Entry to all games is free. Check out the game times and venues at bdafl.com.au. Black Diamond AFL and Prime 7, your local AFL team. Okay, welcome to Tulkaboro Viltaralba for the first division game this afternoon between Warners Bay and Lake Macquarie Dockers. Um, the Warners Bay fifth position on the ladder with four wins. Um, Dockers without a win on last position on the ladder. Um, so we're looking forward to a competitive game here this afternoon. Yeah, Warners Bay are looking to make it three wins on the day with the women's team winning the first game, then the first, th second division boys having a great win against Lake Macquarie and they're looking to continue it. Warners Bay won the toss and they'll run to the wards, the tennis court end here at Tolkaba this afternoon. Just waiting for the siren, umpires are ready. There's a siren, we're away. Umpire throws up. First hit out to Lake Macquarie, picked up by Timmy Clark. He's punched the ball forward. Red picked the ball up. Looks like we've got a toss up here on the um, 50 line. Turned over by the Dockers and picked up by Warners Bay. Umpire throws it up. Another hit out to the Dockers. I think it's going to be turned over here again. Out of bounds on the forward pocket. It does look like Lake Macquarie have started the better, winning the first centre contest and having some body streaming forward to give you inside 50 and a snap and it's hit the post. Oh. Warners Bay very lucky to get away with that.
Jimmy Rigby was the guy who took that shot, hit the post. He'd be very disappointed with that. Told me before the game he was keen to get a couple of goals today. Nice kick out. Good mark. Jimmy Newton Jimmy with the Newton. mark yeah. on the wing. Looking for an option. There's a bit of movement now, but it's Goes taken a while. Center. Warners Bay just trying to slow it down, get the get a few touches. Rick, Rick Robbo on the ball. Just another short target. Just looking for an opening. Oh, Not a poor very good kick. kick there. Looks like it could be a turnover. Trying to pick the ball up. Looks like a stale made in the middle of the field. A lot of bodies around the ball. Good clearance there. Clearance. Lake Macquarie have got a bit of a sweeper happening at the moment. Daniel out. Stewart. Through to Jimmy Rigby. Nice mark. He's popped it up again. There's the president, Brad. Good mark by Alex Zane. The forward pocket. The movement of the ball into the Dockers forward line. Looked very easy. Warners Bay need to lift their defensive efforts. Midfielders need to work a little bit harder. You wouldn't want to put your week's pay on him kicking this goal, though. You'll probably prove me wrong, but... Yeah, it wasn't real pretty. Was it behind? Warner's Bay to kick the ball in. He's just about ready now after he's retrieved the ball. He's gone for a long kick. Benny Bartlett's picked it up. There's Red. Nice little handball onto Timmy Clark. He's tossed it up to the point. Big Braves can't take the mark though. And I think it's rushed through for behind. Breeze has definitely dropped from the previous games. It's still as out here today. Perfect winner's day. Another big kick in, picked up by Benny Bartlett again. Braves is, sorry. It's um, Rigby, Jimmy Rigby. He's taken a mark on the 50. I think it's a little bit belong in his range, but he's going to put it up there. Hope for a mark from Braves. Yep, he's got it. So he's marked right on the goal line. So... I think your grandma could put this one through. Okay, that's a goal to Jared Braben, and the Dockers take the lead. Five minute mark of the first quarter at uh, 9 0. One goal, three behinds. Dockers have started well here and uh, Warners Bay maybe just looking a little flat. Yeah, Warners Bay just need to tidy up their defence a little bit. It's a little bit loose down the back. Probably need to deploy maybe a spare man down back just to even up the numbers and stop the flow. A couple of those kickouts, they've just turned them straight over as well, going for the long kickout. So might be something else they'll be thinking about. I think the Dockers have forced this one out of the middle. Rigby's picked it up again. Tossed it in. Ben Hunter has cleared it to Jimmy Newburn. He's got the butter up and taking it again. Rick Robbo is taking it out wide, and it's a mark there. That's play, he's played on Pete Season. Sure, 
dropped the mark he should have taken. Looking for an option in. Not a real good kick and it's a turnover. That's Matty Wells running away with it. Towed through by um, Zano, Alex Zane. And their battle for out there on the boundary line. Looks like it's gone into touch now. Warners Bay haven't really got an inside 50 as yet, so it's all been down this, uh, around the Dockers 50 line and so far. That's a good tackle. Come on, a few fumbles in there. Comes back out of the Warners Bay. Has that gone out on the full? Yeah, out on the full. Warners Bay just look a little bit rushed at the moment. They need to slow down and start finding some targets. Oh, there's a good mark again. That's uh, Simon Gardner, red. Through to Brad. And Zeno's got it again. Looks like he's going to be tackled, though. Umpire's blowing it up for a throw-up. Zeno's taken the ruck. Off the Kick. ground. Good pick up by Timmy Clark, but uh, he was tackled straight away. Timmy's tipped it into the middle. Jeremy Cronin taking a good mark on about the 40 line. Uh, he'll line it for a shot at goal. It'll take a good kick here to, to get one through. It's a long way up. Looks like he's coming off the Dennis Lilly run into. Yeah. He's got a good piece of it, but I think he's a bit short. There's Braves coming in for the mark, but he's... No one in front. No one in front. Ball comes out. Oh, there's a good and mark. There's a good mark for Warners up. Bay. There's Backy. Lydon's got the ball. Kicks it straight in the man of the mark. Warners Bay got a few numbers around the ball. Nice little bump. Vaux's got the ball. Took a big hit. Stayed down. There's Harley Davis cleaning up at the back, but he's been tackled hard. A little bit high on that one, What's free kick. Okay, it's a penalty to the Dockers. Harley, he's kicking towards the line. He's got his Ruckman lined up there. He's either got a mark, no, he didn't get it into touch either. Straight into the sun, this one will be a great mark into the sun. Yeah, there's Harley again, cleaning up. It's coming, coming out the far side. Yeah, it's Glenn Lambert picking the ball up there. Both teams are making a fair few interchanges at the moment. It's a pretty warm day for a middle of winter. Jimmy Rigby through to red. Oh, looks like he slipped out there. That could be an issue. No, he's got clear. High tackle. Was he tackled late? Nah, a bit high. Oh, okay. So is it downfield or is it back to him? No, it's back to Simon. He's one of the three or four players that are backing up from the Second division going for the Dockers, so I'm expecting a few uh, guys to uh, fade into the last couple of quarters. So that could be an issue for the Dockers. It's Jared Braben's taken a mark out in the pocket. Fairly difficult shot though. He's, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 metres out and virtually on the boundary line. Left footer though, so he might be able to curl it in. No, he's gone across the goal. Anyone there to mark? No. Warners Bay clear the ball. 
Back out to Jeremy. He's put through a behind. Warner's Bay is struggling to clear their back 50. Lake Macquarie doing a great job of locking the ball in and not allowing any easy ball. So 12 minutes gone in this quarter and it's 1-4 the Dockers to 0-0 zero zero for the Warners Bay who are still struggling to get the ball into the 50. Not sure they've got there yet, have they? One, I think. Oh, sorry, yeah, the Mark Harley took it down there. Another Mark Talek Zane. He's looking dangerous up in that area. Oh, nice Mark, Jeremy Cronin. He could be in a position to kick this. Fairly wide, but uh, yeah, we'll take a good kick again. Hasn't shortened his run up for this one either. <laughs> I'd be tired before I kick the ball. <laughs> another miss there. The only thing that's keeping yeah. Warners Bay in this contest is that's the another big run. Ill, Ill kicking. Going for the big kick again. Same result. I think uh, Warners Bay need to look at that tactic of kicking long from the uh, kick outs because it's not working at this stage. Yeah, fully agree. Jimmy Rigby pumps it in again. Braves has dropped the mark. But Macquarie need to get someone front and centre in front of Braves, I think. It's the third time it's gone to ground and no one there to pick it up. And a high, a free kick to Warners Bay. Bit of high contact there. I oh, know he's balling it up. Ruffman go up. Sounds like the late Macquarie coach is just putting out that instruction that I came up with a second ago. <laughs> Warners Bay with the handball in. Yeah, this Seidman. looks better from Warners Bay. Kick in, one hand. Should it needs to go with the two. Good handball out from Glenn Lambert, and that's the young Wells, Timmy Wells. Bit of Kicked a chaos kick into the middle, but it's worked out. No, oh, turned over. Robbo's got the ball out, out wide. One of the, the Warners Bay players backing up from third divi second division. <laughs> Warners Bay might mop this up. Yeah, it's very scrappy. It is. Lake Macquarie has stolen it. Good spoil by the Warners Bay. Lyden with the shot. Was that touch? It's touch, one yeah. point. Touch for a point for Warners Bay. They're on the board. Five minutes to go in this first quarter. Lake Macquarie have had all the have had all the possessions and all the shots, but they haven't made it count. I'm not sure if he'll come back to haunt them or not. There's a good chance of that. Nice kick out from uh, Timmy Clark. Intercept mark by Newburn. Yeah, well, Lines it up. This one back. This will be a goal, I think. He's kicked it, yep. and it's a goal. Just like that, the margin's been cut. Just four points in it now. Ball's coming back to the middle. Just shows that turnovers cost you. So we four minutes to go of the opening quarter. It is Lake Macquarie one goal five eleven to Warners Bay one one seven. Another touch tap one. down to uh, Macquarie, but uh, picked up by Warners Bay and pumped back into their 50. And they've got another shot. They've centred it. All depends on the bounce. Warners Bay have got it. That one's been touched. 
Picked up. Handball out. Opportunity. He's kicked it. And he's kicked another one. Two goals in two minutes. Somehow Warners Bay have hit the lead. Yeah, that was good work out of the middle from Warners Bay. Late Macquarie Ruckman got the tap down, but it was picked up straight away by Warners Bay and pumped very quickly into the uh, 50. A lot of scrappy work. Dockers couldn't clear the ball. And then Warners Bay pumped another goal through. So it's gone from Lake Macquarie. Looked like they'd done a run away with it in the first quarter to Warners Bay being in front by a bit of accurate kicking, I suppose. Yeah, six scoring shots to three, but it's the result the other way. Good mark from Timmy Clark, just outside the 50. See if they can uh, make a better job of getting it into a scoring position this time. He centred it. Braves has gone for the mark. He did have someone in front of him that time, but they couldn't pick it up. Handball, turnover, handball, turnover. <laughs> Scrappy. And Benny Honey clears the area and luckily finds someone on the mark. Newburn got the ball. Spots up. Pete Rocho has got the ball. You had a good winch, Timmy, during the week that he didn't get the goal from last week, so here's your opportunity, Pete. It's got a bit on it, but I think it's going to be a bit short. Has it gone through? Oh, one point. Oh, that was close. That was lucky. There was someone there from Warners Bay waiting to kick the goal, but it was just touched through. Harley kicks out. Simon Gardner. Against Red Newburn. His friends, gets his hands on it, but can't take the mark. He's taken a good tackle, though. Then he's got the... Holding the ball, advantage. Moved it on quick. Good mark. Mitchie Kloon making his comeback for the Dockers. One of the star players from the years, last few years. Picked up by Brad. Straight across, across the, the goals again. And one point, knock through, rush through. Rush through by Warners Bay. Better movement by the Dockers. They moved it quicker and got it in there. Still don't seem to be able to Plunk a mark or get the ball into the right spot to take the straight kick at goal. Uh, Warners Bay just chipping it around, trying to take a bit of time off the clock. Okay, we're down, to our, we're down the countdown for the last uh, minute. 34 seconds to go. The ball comes back to the wing. Good mark by Warners Bay. Yeah, Butch. Pete Seedman just dropped the mark. Kicked it left footer. One last opportunity, 20 seconds to go. Oh, high tackle. High tackle, too. yep. He might be hurt. I think he might be a little too far out for yeah. the goal, though. I don't think he's a bit sore. So 10 seconds to go, he's done to be a big kick. Mm. Dockers haven't got anyone back on the line yet. No, there's the siren. So, torp it. No, it's not no. going to make the distance. So that's the final score for the first quarter. 1-5-11 uh, to the Dockers, 2-2 two, two to Warners Bay. So Dockers, a lot of chances, not very good goal kicking. And then some good kicking late in the quarter to Warners Bay. Let's take, let them take a three-point lead into the quarter time break. We'll see you after a short time. Thank you.
133, proceed to level 2, check on its service. Miss the Wilson Security Black Diamond AFL this weekend. Entry to all games is free. Check out the game times and venues at bdafl.com.au. Black Diamond AFL and Prime 7, your local AFL team. JJ, two to forms, kept the boys there to the last second and uh, Dockers are moving towards their positions. Uh, correction on that half time, uh, sorry, quarter time score. 1 6 to the Dockers, 12 to 2 2, 14 for the Warners Bay's Bulldogs. Okay, Siren's gone. Umpire's just checking that he's got everybody in position. He's throwing up now. Tap down again to the Dockers. Picked up again by Warners Bay. Benny Hunter's kicked it forward. And Jim's, Jim Newburn's got the ball, looking for something in there. Nearly found Scott Duck, a good pickup, kicks, and that's the first goal. Nice pickup from, who was it? 40. I don't know his number here, but yeah, a very nice pickup and good goal. Jimmy Newburn's getting a lot of the ball. It's been... Uh, Using it pretty well as well. So that was Zach Moore, he's under 17's player, first game. So, a bit of skill there on display. Yeah, very nice pick up. Dockers are going to have to put some work into picking up this ball out of the centre. They're getting the tap down. Okay, he's gone for the big hit. New tactic. Picked up by Red, but very heavily tackled. So there'll be a ball up. Uh, looks like about the centre of the... 50. Going for the big hit forward again. Oh, looks like he was legged, but he's got away with that one. I think it was on Mitchie Clune. Ball's been shoved around there in that front quarter. And it's been rushed through. Rushed for through behind. for behind. Okay, back to a one point game now. Oh, sorry. Forgot about the extra Warners Bay goal. Maybe it was wishful thinking on my behalf. Warners Bay have finally found a target from a from a kick in. 
That's two in a row. Jim Newburn on the end of that one. He's looking for the next target. Back to the goal scorer. Picks it up. Good handball out. I think he's he got his head taken. After that, uh, so I think he's going to get a penalty. Free kick. He's a bit out of outside scoring range, but he'll be looking to pick up a target in the uh, near the centre square, near the goal square. So That's he's it bombed up. it. It's in high, in the pocket. I think the Dockers will be looking for the line. Yeah, they've done that. Harley's pushed it over the line. There'll be a throw in, maybe 40 metres out on the pocket. So from walking out to the Warners Bay quarter time huddle, coach Marty Raymond's looking for his team to move the ball a little bit quicker. A uh, bit better decision making and just keep moving the ball forward. I've well, certainly done that on that first couple of plays. As Mitchy Clune finally starting to get a bit of the ball. It's probably taken a few uh, minutes to get his timing back. Reds picked the ball up again. Wild hand pass though. He's turned it over. Looking for a target. He's chipped it in nicely to Newburn, and Newburn's taken the mark. I think he'll have a shot from here. What's his chances? Jimmy's chances. He's a pretty good kick. Um, it's a tough angle though. I, I, I'll back him in. It'll be a good lead if he gets it to the dock, to the Warners Bay Bulldogs. It's well up there. He struck it well. Yep, he celebrated it's a goal. before it went through. It's a good goal. It's so a nice Warners little lead now to the uh, Bulldogs. Yeah, Warners Bay kicked away a little bit there. Looks like so far the early kicking disappointments of Lake Macquarie is coming back to haunt them a little. As we expected. Be interesting to see if he uses the big uh, punch forward again from this uh, centre bounce. Yeah, well, Lake so, Macquarie win, they're dominating the tap, so it's not a bad ploy. Seems to be reasonably effective. No, he didn't get a good hand down. on it this time. Warners Bay got the ball, I think. Went for the quick, quick Vos with the hands out to Ben Hunter. He's tried to kick it along the ground. Just Pete season it back to Hunter. A throw. Oh, oh that was a, about that one. That might have been a slightly tough call, that one. Yeah. Was, uh, we had a pretty good view of that, and we're both in agreement that it was... Uh, Warners Bay got the numbers back. Bit of a look-away handball. It's not not required down in the back 50. Rick, Rick Robbo chasing the ball. Good hands out. Smothered. Off the ground. There's Mitchy Clune again. And passes. Not giving Brave much of a chance. I think I'll be putting the ball in the air to him, not along the ground. Yeah, Warner's Bay 10 out a couple of extra numbers back at that in defence. Another turnover. Picked up again on the 50. And Warners Bay are going to punch it straight back. It's a good mark out there by Pete Seidman. First year player, come come over from soccer and has just improved out of sight. Down the wing, dropped the mark. Got around him, advantage, nah. He doesn't want What's to take the advantage. It's a penalty for a high tackle. I don't think you heard the whistle. The umpire sat, pulled it up and took it back. Sat it up. Though kicks it forward. Newburn in the contest pushes his man out of the way. Centers the ball. Oh, it's another mark from the. And Zach, the 17 year old, yeah. is taking another mark. Can he make it two goals? Nearly as many kicks. He's getting plenty of ball. He's picked, He's had a couple of other touches as well. So, good game so far for the young guy. 
I don't think he looks real confident kicking the goal though. He's looking for another option. I think he's I think he's done a go around there. he's doing the banana. And he's hit the post, I think. Pretty good effort from that angle. Warners Bay have built the wall to stop the kick in. Late Macquarie trainer inside the 50 on a kick out. One of those rules that not many people know of, but having an official umpire out there, he picks it up. Ash Borg don't miss too much. Ball's kicked in. Oh, it's turned over there. Uh, Dockers will need to um, make sure they get some better kicks here now. There's Riggers running downfield. He's dropped the mark though. Red's trying to get the ball. Riggers picked it up again. Through to Matty Mears. Red. Braves has been pulled back to the ruck for a, for a while. And Newburn with another Newburn mark. Newburn again. Mitchie Clune cleaning up in the back pocket. Warners Bay is still looking dangerous though. Harley's got the ball, but he's been crawled all over. And I think Warners Bay have cleared. Yeah, it's a point. Is it a point or? Ah, it's just a point. Point, yeah, it's true for it's a point. Again. Just looks like Macquarie might be a little bit too handball happy during the middle instead of just getting it long and turning it over a little bit. Okay, nine minutes gone in this quarter. 1 6 12 to the Dockers. They haven't, they haven't progressed since this quarter. And another two goals, two to the Warners oh. Bay, who are now 28. Picked up by Riggers, he's pumped it into the forward line, looking for a target, Timmy Clark. Oh, the ball just didn't sit. Big clearance out. Braves. Okay, what's the umpire calling here? High, high contact. High, high contact and a penalty to um, James Rigby. He's kicked it forward. There's a resting Ruckman up there, Jeremy Cronin, but he's um, dropped the mark. Warners Bay got a few out, out spare. Okay, there was contact after the uh, ball was kicked and another touch for uh, young Warners Bay player. Ben Hunter picks up the ball. High tackle. He's got a penalty for a high contact. Danny Hunter. Centers the Centers ball. The ball. Rick Robbo. They look like they could be out this way. Off to Jace Wilson. Might be a little bit higher the kick. Matty Wells is right on his heels. Oh, a nice oh. little tap forward there. Matty Wells is still chasing though. Kicks it to the danger spot to Newburn. He's got the ball forward. Oh, and a rush no. kick. And Zach, Zach's played on and he's missed. Oh. Bit oh, of inexperience there. Bit of inexperience. Yeah, should have went back. We got the lead. The Warners Bay got the lead. They don't need to rush it. Oh, he was, only, sure he was only 20 metres out and right in front. Rush of blood. The young kids had a pretty good game though, so we'll yeah. let him off with that one. It's probably his fourth or fifth possession for this quarter. Lighting up there, good contest. That ball's not going to oh, come out. Ben Hunter over the ball, hands out. Mikey Vaux's got the ball. And holding the man yeah. without the ball, Mike Vaux. Timmy Wells has pulled him off the ball there, so another penalty for... Warner's bait. Wide out in the pocket, so it's a fairly difficult shot. He's going to have a crack. It's gone across the face. 
still in play. Jim Newburn over the shoulder. And that's a point. Probably just as well he didn't kick that one. I'm glad he didn't kick that one because we wouldn't have heard the end of it for the next five years. Another interchange there for the Dockers. Mitch McLean back on. Matty Wells off. Wide kick. Found the target. Yeah, Reds kicked it forward. This is where the Dockers have been falling down and looks like it's going to happen again. He's tossed the board forward. I think it's a throw in. Yeah, it was a bit of a borderline tackle there. But... Uh, Ball's been thrown in again. Looks like it's gone into the out of bounds there twice. Punched by the Ruckman. This might be an issue. I think it's another throw in. Looked like a bit of volleyball happening there for a minute. Yeah, I think uh, umpire might have been a little bit leading it there. So it's Alex Zane in the ruck. Dockers have picked it up and pumped it forward. Oh, another good bounce. bounce. <laughs> another good bounce for Warners Bay, that is. Nice tackle, Dunny, Daniel Stewart. Ball's come out. Tap forward, turned over. Pete Seisman on the ball. Good bump off. Two against one here, he's doing well by himself. That's young Timmy Wells. Well, I think he might have got a penalty out of it as well, has yeah, he? Yeah, great effort there. Two against one and he won the free kick. It's... See if he can. Oh, oh great mark, great Alex mark. Zane. One hander and he's pulled it down. See if they turn it over again. No, that's a better effort. Good mark there from Benny Bartlett. He's looking for a target forward. It's gone over the top. He's dropped the mark. Quick kick onto the boot. Oh, that's played on. I think the. Uh, couple of uh, lenient calls there from the umpires. Yeah, well, they're not in a play, so that's the main thing. Yeah. It's pretty consistent, so that's, a, that's, that's all we're after. Another throw up. Tap forward by Alex Zane. Good kick out from Warners Bay. Picked up from Benny Bartlett, but I think he's been tackled. No, no he got, got it, it away. Out. Quick kick forward. High, high one. Un oh, should have taken that one. Yeah, another drop mark and another... No one front and centre. Timmy Clark's trying to get his boot to ball here. Jeremy Cronin, I think that one's been touched. Yeah, hit the post, I think. And it hit the post, and it went through for a behind. So a one-pointer to the Dockers. Quick kick out from Warners Bay. Nice kick and yeah, good Yeah, Benny mark. Hunter on the, with the ball, looking for a target on his left, and finds it too. Oh, nice mark again. It's Mike DeVoe. The, there's two Vos out there. And on to Pete Rocher. Centers it, Jimmy Newburn. This time Good Harley contest. stopped him. Some good tackling out there today. Cleared good. by Harley down the line. Has he kept it in? Yeah, bounced in. Bit of a leg break and found someone in. Oh. Mitch McLean in there, battling with three Warner Bays. Docker's intensity's definitely dropped off. What's happened oh. here? Is that gone through? Nah, no, but just to be high. Took a good bounce, but not that good of a bounce. Quick kick in. Sat it up a little bit. Good punch there. Alex Zane picking the ball up there, through to Mitchie Kloon. Timmy Clark, he's got a bit of room to run, he likes to run. He's pumped it forward. Shane Caulfield come off the bench, is up there forward, but he couldn't take the mark. Mitchie McLean. Rick Robbo's got the ball for Warners Bay, kicks it long towards. He's got it, taking one bounce. 
Ten is up. Yep. That's some better defence from the Dockers. Last couple of times it's come in. They've been able to spoil. Kicks the ball through to Glenny Lambert. Mitch. Always a better option with Mitch is the handball. Timmy. No, it's Matty. Matty Wells pumping it forward. Looking for an option forward, but there, there's nothing there. Turn it over again on the 50 metre. Rick Robbo with the ball. He ain't got some hands to Vo. Red's got in front of that one. Well done. He's pumped it back. Yeah, it's falling down on that after. wing every time for the Dockers. So, two minutes to go in this till half time. I think the boys are looking forward to the break. It's Lake Macquarie, one goal, 7 13, to Warners Bay, 4 7 31. Warners so, Bay accuracy's fallen off a little bit yeah. in the last, last bit of this quarter as well, which is probably the only reason that the Dockers were sort of within half a reach. We might have to call it that it's that end's the problem, not the kicking. You think? No. Yeah, there's another good mark from Warners Bay on that 50 metre line. Must be about the fifth turnover this on the 50 metre this quarter. They've pumped it back forward. Yeah, another good mark down on the wing. Hits it long. Red standing under that. He's got the ball to ground anyway. Warners Bay centre it again. Newburn. It's another point. Just need to probably centre the ball a little bit further yeah, I was out. just going to say that. A little bit more direct uh, route to goal. Yeah. If they'd come down that middle, I think the Dockers would be in huge trouble. He's kicked the ball to himself. Nice mark, Matty Wells. So 30 seconds to go. Touched. That ball's been touched. Mitchy Clean has picked it up. Through to... No, nah, it's been turned over again. <laughs> he spoiled it and marked it. So this is probably the last He's pumped play. it in, unless it's a mark. That'll be it for the, and that's the siren. first half. Uh, final score for the first half. I think we've got it right this time. 1-7-13 to the Dockers. 4-8-32 to Warners Bay. Um, yeah, good quarter. Warners Bay come out and uh, really put the... Dockers to the sword, but then last few entries into 50 there um, behind. It's probably stopped them. Um, probably could have had the game um, iced by this stage. We'll be back after a little while.
Don't miss the Wilson Security Black Diamond AFL this weekend. Entry to all games is free. Check out the game times and venues at bdafl.com.au. Black Diamond AFL and Prime 7, your local AFL team. Okay, welcome back to Talkaber Oval. Um, once again, we have a score change uh, from the scoreboard. So it's 1 8 14 to the Dockers, 4 8 32 to Warner's Bay. So three goals in it. So a couple of, couple of quick goals could uh, change the complexion. Um, umpire just waiting for everyone to get in position. Goal umpire is just about there. So Siren should go any second. Ball up, thump forward, turned over again. Warners Bay pumping it back into the forward line. Dockers trying to clean up. Shane Caulfield picks it up, Matty Mears, pumps it to no one. So I suspect this will come straight back with the Warners Bay. Guy picking up out on the wing. No, turned the ball over. Nice work from Riggers. 50 again. Warners Bay coming back quickly off that 50 again. So obviously the Dockers guys didn't listen to what their coach was telling them at uh, half time. Mikey Rowe to Pete Seidman. Looking for a target, hits it up. Rick Robbo with the ball. Think he'll have a shot from out there or are you just going to pump it in? Looks like he'll pump it in. Just pumping it in. Looking for the, someone at the top of the square. Cleaned up by the Dockers. Ball's everywhere on the ground here at the moment. Just ben. need someone with a clean pair of hands and it's a Warners Bay player. No, someone's been hit late here. Yeah, Benny Ball Hunter downfield. Tack tackled without after he disposed of it. That was an easy one for Ash to make. So this will probably be a long range shot. Um, no, nah, it's moving the mark forward, he might not have a shot. Pumps it in. Who's Steal waiting on the roost. line? I'll say they'll pump that through. Yeah, it's touched. Touched through. Ball hits the post. Off someone's fist anyway. Looks like Harley Davis ready to uh, kick the ball back in. He's looking for a target. Warner's Bay player. Once he's picked he gets it up. The ball, he's got the ball now. Snaps. And he's bent it straight through. Benny Hunter. What a goal. Good goal to Warner's Bay there. Pretty good effort there by Benny Hunter to pick it up, kick it on his non, non preferred foot, yeah, snap he bent, it in the corner. Bent that one in nicely, didn't he? Yeah, very nice. Just waiting to bring that ball back. So I'll uh, mention uh, a couple of the Docker sponsors uh, Total Engraving and Underground Trade Services and Toronto Hotel. And for Warners Bay, it's the Black Butt Hotel, Body Works, Physiotherapists. And Seven Streets Caravan. Um, also, I like to thank the major sponsors of the BDAFL, Wilson Security. So, anyone that needs any security help, give them a call. Ball's thrown up again. Not a clear winner on the tap down, but uh, Dockers picked it up, but then uh, back kicked it out and then picked up by Warners Bay. Nearly a throw there. Warners Bay got yeah. it through it. One of the bows. He's kicked it and he's got it back himself. Try a little hand pass through, but it's gone out over the um, boundary line. It'll be a throw in. Uh, where are we? Maybe just inside the 50. Went for the big punch. Oh, that one looks slightly higher, but he's got away with it. Benny Hunter Another again. Shot. 
It's a bit wide. This one he's pulled right across and it'll be a throw in on the forward pocket. Early stages of this quarter, looks like Warners Bay are making the play. Um, they're locking it in, they're keeping it forward. Hopefully Lake Macquarie can find a way out. Yeah, they're looking pretty flat though. Uh, didn't seem too much enthusiasm when I was in their huddle at half time. But let's see what happens. Scott Ducker had a go. Is that gone into that? out of bounds or has uh, it touched the point. post? One point. Oh, it's gone through for a point. Yeah. So, already five minutes gone in this quarter. And we've just had one behind to the Warners Bay Bulldogs. Ball's Benny, kicked out. Benny good Hunter mark. again. He's had a shot at it. Looks Doesn't good. look too bad. No, it's a point. Couple of the senior Warners Bay players, Benny Hunter, Scott Ducker, are starting to impact the game a little bit more. Yeah, he, he's had, what, four touches this quarter, I reckon? Yeah, four touches in ten, five minutes of football. Harley's trying for a kick in again. Big pack there. Pretty scrappy looking pack. Someone's, Brad, uh, Captain, President Brad's picked it up. Be Benny Hunter yeah. again. Zach stopped the mark. He's trying to keep it in. No, he's kept it in. A little bit scrappy, but he's too quick for Shane Caulfield. He's had a shot. And uh, it's hit the, hit the post, post on, the, on the, full. the full, I think. So it'll be a um, penalty kick. Back pocket. See if Harley can find a target this time. He's pumped it long. Red's out there. No. No good. Mitch McLean. He's tackled hard. Butch has kicked it back in. Well, Harley's sick of waiting for him to do something, so he's come out to yeah. chase the ball forward. Kicked it out on the full, unfortunately. Starting to mirror a bit, a bit like the, the uh, Warners Bay opening minutes. We're kicking it along, and it's just coming straight back all the time. Setting it up for a fly. Oh, Zach nearly took a mark. He's gone again after it. Uh, it's crawling around on the ground again. Yeah, have a ball up in a pretty dangerous spot there. <laughs> Jeremy's gone for the tap forward again. High, high, or is it? No, it's a throw mm -hmm. in again. Didn't recognise Timmy Clark there. He's had a jumper change. Mikey though with the ball, mm -hmm. sets it up. Well, who's marked that? Or has it gone into I'm not sure. out of bounds? I think it might be a throw in. Oh, ball up. Ball up. A lot of bodies in there, pretty difficult to see what's going on. Benny Hunter's with the ball, probably his eighth uh, touch of the get quarter. Mitch McLoon's grabbed him. Bit of protection for Red and he's picked the ball up. Ball's through to Rigby. He's tried to centre it. Warners Bay is intercepted. Scott Butcher Looks like got it's the coming ball. out again. No. Intercept mark. Yeah. That's better from Rigby. He's pumped it forward, but I don't no know who he's kicking, for, kicking to because there's no one there. I think he might have been better to hang on to that for a while and see if he could get someone forward. Here he's got it back again. No, he's beaten in the marking contest this time. Yeah, Scott Butcher. Bit of experience there. Kicked it long. Ran nice under punch it. from uh, Brad Farrell there. He's moved uh, down to the back half this quarter by the look. Uh, 
thrown in. Ball thrown in. Tap down, picked up Warners Bay. Chris Whitworth at the hand. Oh, breaks it, kicks it. Two on one here. Got guys all over him. He looks like he's still going to win the ball, but no, the ball's gone over the boundary. So there'll be a throw in, probably about 20 metres in the back pocket. Quick kick out, could be danger. A few Warners Bay players there. Beats them all. Back to one of the bows. But it breaks one, sends it up. And through for a point. Another point. A lot of behinds in this game. Well, yeah, a lot of quick kicking. Boy's not judging the ball real well. They're running under it a little bit. Harley Davis to kick out. Just been brought to my attention. This is his 50 game. So congratulations on that milestone, Harley. Braves has had to move back. He takes a good mark on the 50. Kicks it forward. Rigby takes a nice mark. Be looking for some options this time. Not sure who he can kick to. He's sort of pumped it up a bit. Glenn Lambert made an effort. Didn't quite take it though. And Warners Bay kick it back. Here's Mitchie Clune chasing Myself, for the Dockers. Myself. Picks it up. Hand pass into Benny Bartlett. A couple of these guys that are backing up from uh, the last game, you can start to see them slowing down already. So I think this last quarter. Yeah, a bit of a no, throw there. Warners Bay penalty for a throw. There's Benny Hunter again. That's probably number 10. Kicks it in long. Drop the mark. Good hit by Scott Ducker. Ducker's got the ball. Handballs it out. Left foot. Left foot Look, snap. And she's in. Yeah, good goal. Of one. No. It is. It is, yeah. That's a couple of bounces that went in. Yeah, it sat up there on the um, goal line for a fair period, but there was no one there for the Dockers to touch it. Uh, Lee on the flags there waited till the last minute till he was sure that it had gone over the line. But he's awarded a goal to Warners Bay, which takes the score now to 6 12 48 for Warners Bay to one goal eight for the Dockers. Okay. Great play by Scott Ducker, number 10, down in the forward line. Picked the ball up, got the hands out, and they kicked the goal from it. Just shows. Been, a, been around the club for a long time. Unlucky not to get picked up by the AFL in his younger days. <laughs> ball back out on the flank. Warners Bay is pumping it forward again. Dockers still haven't got the ball inside their 50 this quarter. And a mark there to Zach again. He's been finding a bit of it forward. Sets it up. Oh. Good Ball's ball in, but no one, no one could quite uh, clunk the mark. And Newburn's taken the mark. Oh. Right in the middle of the goals. Yeah, Jim, Jimmy Newburn swallowed that one like he does his KFC on a Friday night. And he slotted it. That's about number four for Newburn. It's been a big day for him. He's coaching the third division team. They had a win and now he's kicked a few goals in the second in the first div. Six goal lead now to Warners Bay. I think you'd have to be an optimist to see the Dockers coming back from here. Dockers have made a change. Alex Zane into the ruck. See if he can make a difference. He's won the first tap straight down to Simon Gardner. He's pumped it forward. Good mark to Jimmy Rigby. Mitchy Clunes mixed the mark. Braben picked it up. Missed. Missed. I would have thought he'd kick that one from there, but probably a bit rusty. Hasn't played for a while. Dockers are pretty dominant out of the centre, but they just can't seem to be hitting any hitting the scoreboard in the Yeah, that way. was that was the change to Zainar and he tapped it straight into 
He's Rover's hands. Pumped back in for the Dockers. Who's under this one? No one. Punched out of the road by Warners Bay. Run out of the 50 again, and it's all, so, it's all of a sudden right out on the wing. Warners Bay looking for that link. Young Zach again. Another possession. Not such a great kick this no. time, but a good mark from Harley. Played well. Come off his man to take that one. There's Simon Garden again. He's probably been the Dockers' best, even though he's playing his second game. Which doesn't say much for some of his uh, teammates. Nathan Turned Brown. over again in the yeah. pocket. Nathan Brown just playing the loose out down back. Cleaning up anything that comes forward. Back down the line. Alex Zane's gone for his one-handed mark again. Yeah, bit, bit of a late hit. But he might have uh, got a penalty out of it. Yeah, free kick. He's pretending he's taken a while to get up, but that might be more fatigue than uh, being hurt. So we're just ticked into five minutes left in, in this quarter. Good mark taken by the late Macquarie. Jeremy Cronin's taken the mark. Playing on Pumps quickly. the ball in. Timmy Clark's dropped the mark, but he's going to rove the ball. No. Warners Bay's got it away again. Good effort from Warners Bay. Pete Rocho with the ball smothered. Bit unlucky there. Good smother there. Got it forward. Zach's onto the ball. Run down. To Newburn. Oh, I don't Jim. think they'll be able to stop Jimmy. And Jim's just upsized his KFC meal for the night. Too strong round the hips for the young boy there. Yeah, Jimmy just showing his experience. Over 250 senior games, so he knows where to find the goals. Oh, he's a bit strong for those couple of those younger boys too. Yeah. Ball back in the middle. Umpire's ready to throw it up. See if Zeno tries his same trick again. Oh, it's gone forward this time. Benny Hunter once again, moving the ball forward. Chris Whitworth for the goal. He's hit it well, just a no, little just bit wide. Just faded away at the end. Another behind. Okay, three minutes left in this quarter. Um, so that'll be like 8.14.62 to Warners Bay. To 1 9 15, the Dockers. Ball kicked out. Timmy Clark's 100. Benny Bartlett's picked it up. Pumped the ball forward. Two Dockers there. Two Warners Bay. Ball's kicked forward. Warners Bay. His Braves picking it up. Little handball to no one. Timmy Clark battling for the ball. Need to keep your feet. Browning with the hands, great hands over. One bounce, two bounce. Another nice kick forward. Oh. Zach's got the ball again. Oh, he lines it up. Lines it up. It's not a real good. Oh, oh the post. poster. <sighs> Quick kick out. There's Simon Gardner again. Through to uh, Daniel Stewart's taken a good mark on the 50. Not a great kick. It's gone through everyone. Doesn't give anyone a chance, much of a chance. It's oh, he's Mitchie. He's going to pick it up. Handball back. Braves turn it in. Yes, has it gone through? That was nice work. Mitchie McLean. Low to the ground, picked the ball up, turned it back to Braves, and he, his left footer just turned through the edge past the post. So the second goal for the Dockers has taken a long time. It's about since the five-minute mark of the first quarter, I think. Yeah, Coach Marty from the Bulldogs not real happy with that. They, the boys made a commitment not to let him score in the quarter, so he's a bit disappointed with a minute to go to let that one in. 
count down clock, so I don't think don't think we'll have any more points in this quarter yet. But, uh, see what happens out of this middle. Danny Arno once again. That's about number 13 for the quarter. Off to Rick Robbo. Not a real pretty kick, but it's got it forward. Got Zach's got the ball again. Hand in there from uh, Timmy Newburn. Wells. Newburn turned again. I think that might have been touched. Yeah, though. they've so called it touch. Whitworth on the line. And he's, he's pumped it through. Put it straight through the middle with 15 yeah, seconds so to go. Not a very good call. It was an easy goal there for Warners Bay. So I don't think we'll get the ball back into the middle for another. No, that's so it. That should be it for the quarter. So hopefully we got the score right on the board this time. So 9, 14, 68 to the Bulldogs. 2, 9, 21 to the Dockers. Uh, we'll be back after a short break. Star 104.5 and Black Diamond AFL would like to thank the following sponsors for making it possible to hit the field week in and week out. Wilson Security. Wilson Security is Australia's largest and most innovative security provider. Prime 7. In 2014, Prime 7 has more footy on more nights, live and free. Newcastle Herald. The Newcastle Herald plays an integral part in the Hunter community. Star 104.5. Star 104.5 plays the music we all love and proudly supports Black Diamond AFL. BLK. BLK, the official apparel supplier to the Richmond Tigers, Western Bulldogs, GWS Giants, Adelaide Crows, Gold Coast Suns and Brisbane Lions. Belmont 16 Footers Sailing Club. Located on the picturesque Lake Macquarie, Belmont 16s is one of the premier venues in the Hunter region, offering the very best in dining, promotions and entertainment. GE Industrial Solutions, partnering with the mining community in the Hunter for the last 50 years, delivering safe and reliable electrical equipment and engineering services to our customers. Sports Coast Trophy and Embroidery. Sports Coast Trophy are the leading supplier of trophies and embroidery on the Central Coast. Waratah Sports. Waratah Sports has been specialising in sporting equipment, sporting apparel and trophies and medals on the Central Coast for over 20 years. Subway Morissette. Subway Morissette is open seven days a week, breakfast, lunch and dinner.
Okay, welcome back to Tolkabaro for the last quarter. Uh, we'll see who can uh, run this game out. Be good to see the Dockers kick a couple of goals and make a little bit of a game of this quarter because they really haven't been in it after the first 10 minutes of the first quarter. Um, umpire getting ready to throw the ball up. Dockers running towards the tennis court end. Alex Zane back in the ruck. I think Warners Bay's got this one out of the middle. Yeah, Rick Robertson with the clearance. And a good mark there. Turn over there by on. Benny Bartlett. Well, he might have rushed that handball, but they're going to get away with it. Oh, that's another drop mark. There's Braves up the field again for a possession. Handball to nobody. He's had a shot. No, I think he's kicked it out on the full. It wasn't a great effort. He had two guys sitting there on the top of the square and he just... Not sure whether he got the white line fever and had a shot or didn't see him. Anyway, it'll be kicked back in by Warners Bay. He's pumped it long. Probably not the best. No. Brave. Has he been awarded the mark? No, I don't think he has. Nah, ball up. Ball up on the 50. Zaino takes the ruck. A bit of a ball. wrestle there on yeah, the bottom. It's pushing the back, I think, somewhere. Late Macquarie's free, I think. Yep. Okay. This might be just a little bit too far out for him to have a shot. Sets it up. He's pumped it in. It's gone over the back. No one over the back. Well, it's a good effort for a tackle, though. He's got the ball. He's dribbled it along the ground. For a behind. For a behind. Jeremy Cronin's put it through for a behind. Not sure why they use that kick along the ground, but obviously there's some uh, value in it somewhere. Yeah, I like the old drop punt. Can't beat that. Back mark again. Jimmy Rigby's done a pretty good job to pull it down, but turn back over again. Scott Ducker Sorry. just missed the ball. A lot of players around the ball in the middle. Alex Zane's got it. Hand pass out. Brad Farrell. Warners Bay win out. And move it forward. Pete Roche has got the ball. He's looking for a target. Just pulled it a kick a little bit. I think Harley's got this one. Well, I'm not sure who he's got to kick to. Timmy Clark's Red. called it and taken the mark. He'll be happy with that. He hasn't had many touches today. Good pick up from Mitchie McLean. Rick Robo with the throw, ball though. after a throw. Back to Mikey Bo. He's playing on straight away. Boys are starting to get pretty tired out there. There's a lot of one hand yeah. and a high tackle. Good effort from Benny Bartlett. Got the penalty there. Just needs to find a couple of targets. Drop mark by Alex Zane. Here comes Warners Bay back with the ball. There's a good smother. Got the hands out. Luke Thompson, good smother. I think, I think the sun might have got mark. him on that one. Jimmy Rigby's kicked there. There's a nice mark. About time we've seen a bit of service into the forward line. The Dockers. Probably because he's got up a bit closer and put the ball into a decent position. Still hasn't shortened that run up. No. Still coming off the Dennis Lilly. 
He's hit it well. And he's got it. That's a goal to Jeremy Cronin, number 32. That's the third goal for the Dockers. Two for um, Jeremy and, I mean, two for Jared Braben and one for Jeremy. Just a couple of other sponsors to thank. Oh no, the throw up's on. Jeremy Cronin took the ruck as well. Good tap down, picked up by Braves. Reds pumped it in. Go, Glenn. Has he got it through? Uh, it's no, it's a behind. Good effort, though. Yeah, he picked that up quite well. Moves a bit better than you'd think he does, um, Glenn. Here's the kick out from. Uh, Warners Bay, see if they can uh, find a target. He's pumped it long. Another good pick up, Simon Gardner, red. Turns it into Jeremy Cronin, he's got another mark. I think he might be, a, no, he's gonna have a shot. Yeah, he's gone back for the run up. See if he can kick his second goal in a couple of minutes. He's got plenty on it. It's just a little bit no. wide, I think. Let's put it through for the behind. See how Warner's Bay go with their kick out this time. It's a little bit like the first quarter again where they were turning it over on the kickouts. Yeah. Scott Ducker with the ball. Oh, that was nice work. Wells, he's got his hand in there. Nice job. Mitchie Clunes picked it up. Not sure he's got an option to get the uh, disposal though. Warner's Bay, weight of numbers. He's got the ball. It's a bit of a smother there. Back to Bay, back to Jake. And he kicks it out wide. Benny Bartlett is going to pick it up, I think. No. Good handball over. Bit of smart work from the Warners Bay guy there. Forced the turnover. Just didn't look when he kicked it. That was In the only field. problem. Brad Farrell kicks out to Timmy Wells. Timmy's got a bit of room to move. Short kick through. Jeremy Cronin again. Braves pick the ball up again. He's kicked it. Good kick from Simon Gardner. He deserves that. He's been he's been Docker's best player by a mile. Okay, a couple of other sponsors that I forgot to th thanks before is um, Grease Monkeys. That's. Uh, Mitchie McLean out there for the Dockers. Give Mitchie a ring and he'll uh, look after you. And Screen Signs, which is the Wells family. Two of the boys are playing. Waiting for the ball to get back to the middle. Umpire's ready to throw up. Who have we got in the ruck this time? Jeremy Cronin's back in the ruck. Yeah, versus Lydon from Warner's yeah. back. He's got Red and Timmy Clark in there. Red's picked it up again. Yep. Kicked it wide. Mearsies run from the half back. Little kick forward to Timmy Clark. This is a little bit better from the Dockers. See if he can find a target. Oh, Timmy's done his usual run round. He's pumped it in. Who's there? Rick no one ever, the ball. Too busy pushing round. Didn't want to go for the mark. Benny Bartlett was pushed under the ball there. Nice piece of work from the Warners Bay, and they're out again. Bit of a smother there. Out on the wing again. 
heading towards Newburn. Oh, someone with Harley was thrown out there. Jimmy got caught this time. Harley's put a little kick through. Brad Farrell's taken the mark. What targets he got? Standing under that one is a bit of a mission. Braves picked it up again. He's playing a bit further downfield at this quarter. Daniel Stewart got an arm into that and he's got it out over the sideline. See if the Dockers can set up here and get the ball in. Forward. Who have they got forward now? Shane Caulfield's moved down to the full forward position. Red's pumped it in. He's That's another kicked one. the goal. Another nice goal. Two goals from uh, Simon Gardner, Red, in a short period of time. It's a little bit more respectable. Halfway through the last quarter, Dockers have kicked. Was it three or four this quarter? Three, I think. Yeah, three this quarter. So five, twelve, forty-two to nine, fourteen, sixty-eight. Warners Bay will be a little bit disappointed. They let the Dockers kick a few. Good tackle there. Another possession for Red. He's pumped it forward. Who's under this one? No one. Newburn's moved himself around. He's from dropped himself back to. And another and Zach great again. Mark from Zach. Harley has come off the line. No, oh, this is getting a bit scrappy here. Late in this quarter. You'll never guess. It's red again. And the tackle. Good hit there. Red again. Mitchie Clune. Taking a good mark. He's got to wait till he can get a target up forward. He's picked out someone. No one wants to get down the ground, do the groundwork. Warner's Bay kicking out again. Rick Robbo with the ball. Richie Clune through to Timmy Wells. Braves has dropped it. Still no one down on the ground. Warner's Bay bring it back out again. Good mark to Warner's Bay. Zach again. Yeah, 17. Showing a lot of poise. Could have something to do with fitness as well, though. I'd say so. <laughs> Can't quite see who that was. It's a Dockers kick anyway. Pushed out in the contest. Not sure Straight who that was to. Bowie's hands. Rick Robbo with the ball. Hands it back to Jim. Jim Breaks a couple through. of tackles. And a man's out here, number four. Pumped it in. Brave should take that. No. Couldn't quite get his hands to it. Timmy's finally got front and centre. No, but he's been caught with the ball. This yeah. will be a penalty to Warners Bay. Mikey Bo with a good tackle there. Just to snuff out any chance with a goal. Docker's a bit messy again. Warners Bay pretty tidy. Jeremy, good uh, fist in that one. Brownie with the ball on the wing. Good contest out there. It's Warners Bay have ended up with it. Oh, break the tackle. tackle. 
low kick in, punched over the back. Brad Farrell fighting for the ball. Him and Harley are doing a good job back there in this quarter. That's yeah. Timmy Wells. He's Dang pumped it high in. to his brother. Thanks, that. That's brotherly love for you. Timmy. Bit of a loose hand pass. Timmy Wells is towing it forward. This will be an interesting contest. It's got it over the sideline there. Ball's tossed in. Who's going to go for this one? They need Spot to keep their feet, the these guys. Bombs it up high. Good spoil. Oh, good tackle as well. Benny Bartlett's got the ball. He's done some nice things today. And it's red again. Uh, ball's pushed in low again. It's not the place to get it when you've got a big forward down there to mark. That's a good effort. Okay, we've got a player down and we've got the ball out on the 50. And it's holding the ball, dive straight on it, Warner's Bay free kick. Quick kick, quick mark, Warner's Bay are away again. Looks like they've slowed the Warner's, uh, the Dockers run here, so I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't be surprised if they bang a couple of goals through in here. Dockers threw what they had at them, but uh, I think Warner's Bay has slowed them down. Matty Mears has got a kick here though. It's through to Simon Gardner. Red, another mark. He's pumped it in high. It's not anywhere near Braves though. Stayed in. I think that's going to get pushed through. Uh, no, they're still fighting for it down there. Warner's Bay have pumped it out. Don't know if he coming back. off the bench. It's got Mears. Oh. Not sure what the umpires called that. I think it was played on and it's been over the, pushed yeah, over the boundary. I think it's just a throw in. So it'll be a throw in. Forward pocket. Two and a half minutes to go. Lake Macquarie 5 12 42. I versus, think. Versus Warners Bay 9 14 68. The winner of the day, I think, is the points. Yeah, I think. No, everyone's going through the motions pretty much at the moment. Great mark there by Lake Macquarie. That's yeah, Mitchie Clune. Sets it up, and it's a great, On great spot. Good work, Mitch. So it's been great to see a late resurgence from the Dockers in the final term. They've shown that they they kept going, gave 100% effort. So yeah. hopefully they can finish off with another couple of goals. And I think he's he, missed this one too. He's pulled that one a little uh, bit to point. It's a bit disappointing. He's obviously a bit out of practice, yeah. like, a, like a footy. So, kicking out from Warners Bay here, we've only got about uh, 80 seconds to go. Another oh, mark. he's taken another mark. Give him another go. He's played on. And, <laughs> and it's... Taking a mark down yeah, there. It's pretty sloppy. The Played on and then he missed the goals by the width of the goals, I think. The timekeeper's very disappointed from Lake Macquarie. He's filthy, in other words. They already had his name written down for a goal, I think. So 40 seconds to go. It's all over. Ball out on the flank. I can't see it going much further than here, but no. I said that with 40 seconds to go last time and Warners Bay kicked a goal. Alex Zane's got the tap down to himself. 
from the Warners Bayside. I'd like to thank right. our major sponsors, the Black Butt Hotel, Body Works, Physiotherapist and Seven Streets Caravan. Also, I'd like to thank the BDAFL sponsor, Wilson Security. Any security needs, please contact them. I'm sure they're happy to help. Ten seconds to go. I think everyone's just waiting for that siren to go now. But it's been good to see the Dockers get a few goals in the last quarter. There's a full-time siren. Uh, final score. Providing we haven't got a mistake again. 5-13, uh, 43 to the Dockers. Great win for Warners Bay, 9-14, 68. And that's a clean sweep for the day for the Warners Bay Bulldogs. They won the ladies game. And then they won the second division and now the first division. So a big day for the best on ground. Uh, Best on ground would have to probably be Ben Hunter from Warners Bay um, yeah. in that third quarter. Had 14 or 15 touches. Um, probably one of the turning points of the game. Yeah, the other good players were number 41 for the uh, Warners Bay team, the young player. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, Jimmy, young Zach. Jimmy Newburn was solid, and I think the best player by a country mile for the Dockers would be Red. Yeah. Kicked two goals in that last quarter and... Probably had twice as many possessions as the rest of the team, yeah. anyone else on the team. So he'd be my best for the Dockers. Yeah. All right, thanks, everyone. That's it for the day from uh, Talkaba. Thank you.